What's up guys, just wanna make a quick video about the beef that's going on between Jeff Cavalier from Athlean X and Greg Doucette. So for those of you who don't know what's going on, Jeff Cavalier is the most popular fitness YouTuber. I think he's got like nine or 10 million subscribers. Greg Doucette, up and coming, yelling, you know, bodybuilder, angry guy who does the Natty or Not videos. Basically, uh, he, somebody did a Q&A, or he did a Q&A where somebody asked him, did you, do you care that Jeff Cavalier, or is Jeff Cavalier using fake weights? He looked at the video, he said yes, and he played a couple of the clips. If you watch these clips, you can see that they're also, they're fake weights, it's pretty obvious. And um, at first, Greg said, he's like, but I don't care, like who cares if he's using fake weights? It doesn't matter, because he's not claiming to lift a lot of weight. He's just using them kind of as like a, like a visual, representation, like a reenactment almost of a, like in a crime show. He didn't say that, that's just what I'm saying. Um, and then he just released another video, I think it was today, where he completely reversed his stance and he says Jeff Cavalier is a liar, he claims, and he, this is all backed up with like little video clips, he's like, he claimed to deadlift 500 pounds here, he can't deadlift 500 pounds, and he made this whole like 15 minute video just really kind of tearing Jeff Cavalier apart as Greg Doucette does for all of his other, admittedly, lesser known fitness YouTubers. Okay, so I'm gonna give my take on it, not that anybody asked or cared, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So here's what I think. I don't think it's really that big of a deal that Jeff Cavalier is using fake weights. Yes, it's dishonest, uh, and to be fair, I haven't like done a lot of research on this. I'm kind of just going off of what I've seen from Greg Doucette's video. Um, but let's take that at face value, because I'm sure Greg Doucette did his research, and I'll just kind of use him as a source. So let's let's assume that Jeff Cavalier is claiming to do 500 pound deadlifts, and he's just using fake weights in his videos for whatever reason. Maybe he doesn't want to actually do the list. Maybe he doesn't want to warm up. He doesn't want to you know, actually have to film himself doing the list there for the lifts there for whatever reason. I don't really even think that's, it's that big of a deal. Okay. If, and uh, of course, what's the problem is that when you sell programs and when you give, well, really just when you sell any sort of fitness information products, um, you need to be as honest as possible because people are going to look at you and say, okay, well, this person says I should do this, this, and this, and this is what their body looks like, so if I do what they do, if I do what they say I should do, then my body will also look like that. And this has been my problem with the fitness industry and anybody who really takes fitness seriously, this is like a major problem because you have really two types of people who are fitness influencer, fitness YouTubers, or whatever you wanna call them. You have the uh, Every Damn Day Fitness, the Swole Normus, the Greg Doucette, the Jeff Cavalier, the Shredded Sports Science. You have those people. I like to think I'm in that category as well. Um, you have those people who actually know about fitness. They give decent advice or good advice, I guess, and they are realistic about everything. And then you have, let's call them like the Gymshark people, right? Gymshark and those types of influencers where they're like, oh, you guys got to get your BCAAs. Here's my like extreme BCAA supplement. I love the taste. It's amazing. Oh, you got to get your, I don't know, L-carnitine. It's amazing. And they just basically are in really good shape. They're really good looking. They're probably very charismatic. They have great genetics and great bodies and they kind of ride their attractiveness to success in the fitness industry. When in reality, they are kind of just coasting on their genetics and they don't actually know that much about fitness or how to teach somebody else fitness. It's very like bro science -y. So you have two camps of people. And if you're in the first camp where you're actually giving good fitness advice, the assumption is that you, you need to be as honest as you can about everything. If you're in the Gymshark camp, everybody kind of, like we all kind of know that they are on steroids and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about and people just watch them for entertainment and the people who buy their programs aren't gonna get anywhere anyway. So you kind of just write them off as like, oh, okay, well, these people obviously are just like good looking celebrities who happen to have nice bodies and are selling supplements to stupid people. So there's not really, they're just really separating stupid people from their money is kind of the underlying assumption. At least that's how I explain it, okay? So it's, it's not really as heinous, you could say, as somebody who presents themselves, I don't know if Jeff Cavalier's ever said this, but somebody who presents themselves as being more honest, more forthright, and more kind of what you see is what you get, and I'm gonna sell you my program because I know what I'm talking about. I think he's a, he's a physiotherapist or something, or physical therapist. Um, 
that's that's the the issue, right? That, I don't know if that's Greg Doucette's issue. His issue is like you're saying you're lifting more weight than you really are, and that's dishonest because you're selling programs. That's I think a very specific symptom of what I said, right? Does that make sense? Hopefully it did. We're gonna move on anyway. So anyway, here's what I think. Here's why I think this is not really that big of a deal beyond that initial thing, and that is because the the benefit of watching Jeff Cavalier's videos, I believe, is that he is arguably the most knowledgeable fitness person, I guess, for lack of a better explanation, who talks about biomechanics and joint mobility and um, really just biomechanics and joint mobility and anatomy. And the, the benefit of watching his videos is not to like hear some, you know, bro tell you to do your three sets of 10 and like 20 minutes of cardio a day. It's to fix specific biomechanical problems that you have as a result of, you know, whatever your lifestyle is or some injury that you had in the past. That's really, I would argue, that's what the best, that's, that's, Jeff Cavalier's like unique value proposition. That's his main selling point is that I would like, I can't think of another fitness YouTuber who's mainstream and popular who knows even 10% of what Jeff Cavalier knows. And that's really the benefit that his channel provides and why I believe he has the most subscribers. There's plenty of channels that'll give you a good workout or you can do 20 minute, 30 minute workout, an hour workout. They'll provide meal plans. They'll provide a workout plan, a six week program. They'll give you supplement recommendations, but that stuff is all commoditized and readily available with a simple Google search. But to find somebody who really knows a lot about anatomy and can tell you how to fix specific muscular imbalances that you have and fix injuries on your own and also has the whole like fitness component to it as well, that's very rare and I would even argue that I, I actually can't think of another person on YouTube who has that. Was Greg Doucette technically justified in going after Jeff Cavalier in at it? in the way that he did. I think he's a little extreme, but that's, you know, like frog and the scorpion, like scorpion's gonna be a scorpion, you know what I mean? That's just how Greg is. He's just gonna go after people like that. That's what gets the views, that's what creates the drama. Um, I don't I don't think that, like, d despite all of his yelling and exuberance, I don't think that what Jeff did is really that bad in terms of just using the fake weights. That's just me. Is it sort of, is it dishonest? Yes. Is it um, unethical? Yes, you could make that argument as well. But, and period, right? Like, let's say that, you know, unless Jeff has some good explanation for it, I don't know, maybe he does. Um, but again, like I said, that's not why, that's not the value of his channel, is to watch Jeff put up 500 pounds on a deadlift or a bench press or something. That's not why people watch his channel, and that's not like, it's like being mad at Nike for like making I don't know, fucking bad shorts or something. Like, who cares? Nobody cares about Nike for the shorts. You, you buy Nikes for the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but let me... Uh, tell me, actually. Not let me know. Or I guess, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this whole Jeff Cavalier, Greg Doucette thing that's going on. Leave me a comment down there. If you like this video, click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share the video. Peace.